Hey, so I want to talk about a crash game that's considered one of the worst ones without pointing out why it has more holes than my underwear and socks. So today I actually want to talk about levels I genuinely enjoy while playing this game conceptually. Not necessarily how its execution is handled, but rather why I like the ideas in these levels. So don't expect some type of review. Instead of me talking trash about this game, let's just be positive. There's only five levels I really like in the Wrath of Cortex, but this isn't a top five, so there won't be any gaps. Just going straight to the point. Wizards and Lizards. While we're not really unfamiliar with the medieval themed levels because of Crash 3, it is nice to actually be inside of a castle rather than outside of one like in Warped. Plus you get chased by a weird looking dragon which is funny and cool. I'm glad T-Tails expanded on the idea. Jungle Rumble. Crash Bandicoot is always in wacky and crazy adventures as the games go by. So crazy that it's actually hard to predict or pinpoint what the next adventure will be like. So who else in their right mind ever thought that he was going to drive a jeep in a jungle as rhinos are chasing them down besides Traveler's Tales? I don't know. Something about this is just like really cool in a sense. And uh, yeah, that's that's really all I can say about this. You, you just ride a jeep. Other than that, it's your typical uh, linear crash level in a jungle or forest type setting. H2O No. Alright, so I'll be real with you, I didn't really care about the water levels in Crash 3, but that doesn't mean I think they were bad. We all know Wrath of Cortex's water levels are fucking trash, and most of us already know already, but let's be real, it's actually genius to transition from being underwater to actual platforming. Something the Crash series has never done before in titles prior, which I actually hope it does again in the next title, because I really enjoyed this. Apparently this was a reference to a James Bond film, I could be wrong though. Next. Fahrenheit Frenzy. This is another level that actually transitions from using a vehicle to being on foot. Yes, while this level is a good bit longer than the usual crash levels, I enjoyed it. I never really had problems with the helicopter pack personally, and you can also play as Crash the Skeleton, which looks hilarious with the running animation. But overall, I had a smooth experience with this level, so there's nothing much else to say. The last level I want to talk about is Crash and Burn. This is hands down one of the best levels in the Crash series from beginning to end. From the monkeys wanting to smash the soul out of you with bananas, huts being blown up, the toucans trying to kill you, I don't know what these are, and the returning crabs. I get that it's not absolutely the most absurd thing we've seen in a Crash game, but for this game's linearity, I think it's pretty neat to be running near the top of the volcano. And there you have it. Those are the levels I genuinely enjoyed in the Wrath of Cortex. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next upload whenever, if ever. Peace.